Maximize Fitness. Guys, today I'm going to show you a workout on a suspension trainer. I did mention I was going to do that following my last circuit workout. I hope some of you guys have tried it and enjoyed it. Um, guys, this is a suspension trainer. It's a cable system that either clips onto a wall, a washing line, uh, a tree, or it comes with a lovely connection that enables you to put it behind a doorway as well so you can train at home. Great for home workouts. Good advantage of this is that you can row, guys. It's good for back. Um, doing home workouts, it's very easy, guys, to press ups, press ups, crunches, lunges, but too many of those tend to strengthen you up and fold the shoulders over. So it's nice to be able to do some exercises which open you up, and this is a kit, piece of kit that you can do that with. Um, guys, I'm going to do just a, I'm going to run through the whole workout now, very quite briefly, and then I'm going to follow up with uh, each exercise done on a video individually so I can show you the do's and don'ts and how to execute them properly. So guys, uh, I've just jumped on the skipping rope for five minutes, just got myself a bit warmed up. You guys move out there and maybe do a run, a bike, or grab yourself a skipping rope uh, and uh, get yourself warmed up, heart rates up. We're going to begin with rows, guys. So I want you to stand up nice and straight, core nice and tight. You're looking for that neutral spine again. If you're not too familiar with neutral spine, go check out some of my other videos. From there, straight back, keep your shoulders nice and wide, row, slowly back down. If you guys are looking for just toning endurance, go for a minute. If you want to build some muscle, move for about 8 to 12 reps and make it heavy enough. And if you can do 2 or 3 more than 12, you're probably going too light. From there, guys, we're going to move on to biceps. In the same position, make it a little bit lighter, step a bit closer. Arms up nice and high. Keep the elbows pointing towards the insertion and pull up nice and high. Up into the temple. Still keeping the back straight, slowly let you down. Notice I'm just moving the elbow joint now, not drawing the back muscles. From there guys, same as, do about 12 reps or a minute, depending on what you're looking at working. From there we're going to move into a chest press guys, just like you would do a press up, nice tight core. We're going to press up, you choose either a minute or 8 to 12 reps. From there we bring the arms up to about eye level, keep the elbows nice and steady and slowly lower yourself in, press yourself away without allowing your core to shift through. We don't want to see any wobbling, nibbling of the midsection. From there guys, we're going to move on to a core exercise. We're going to lie down on the floor, we're going to place your feet in the stirrups, we're going to roll over, and I need to adjust these, you may too. So, as I get to show you now that I forgot to do that, there is an adjustment as you can pull the straps up a little bit higher, just so my toes don't touch the floor. Alright guys, from there I'm putting my feet in the stirrups again, bring yourself over, lying down nice and steady, I'm going to place my elbows on the floor, left up into a plank position. Hold nice and steady, navel's drawn in, tuck the knees in, lift the bum up, slowly out, hold it nice and steady, bring it back in, bring it back out. Guys, if you get any pain in your back, you can't hold it, go down for a little while, when you're ready, yeah. If you haven't done this before, you may have to go for about 10 seconds, take a break, 10 seconds, but eventually you can build up to a minute. That's your core exercise, guys, from there we're going to move on to legs. So, we're going to do a single leg, king squat to start, grab hold of your handles, lean yourself forward, we're going to bring one leg out to the front, drop the hips back, keep the back of nice and straight, and drive up. Okay guys, we'll do 15 or a minute on one leg, other leg, we'll go 15 or a minute on the other. The other one, great for balance, core stability, amazing for your glutes. I'll show you how to do it later on guys. We link a loop through the suspension trainer, we put one foot in, we get yourself in a nice comfortable steady position, push your glutes back, sit into the heel, and drive up. Lower down and drive up, lower down and drive up. We then change legs, guys, place your foot into the other one, get yourself ready, lower down, hinge back, drive up, lower down, hinge back, drive up. So, guys, you've got a couple of exercises moving from your upper body right down to your lower. You can either choose to do a minute on each exercise or 8 to 12. Um, depending on whether you want to build muscle and strength or you want to work through endurance and just tone up. Guys, I hope that helps. Um, keep posted. I'm going to send you links from my YouTube channel where you can find all the exercises in depth and we'll see you guys soon. See you later. Bye.